Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury channel, making this video for Brian. This is paid review, 20A23, 20A23, quick whisper check, JJ LeCoute, Reverso Grande. Guys, I'm making this video, Brian said to me, uh, I don't desire a review, but please make a video about whatever you want to discuss. And what I want to discuss is <coughs> my <coughs> younger two children have no interest in my horology. I've got two boys, 13 and 14, lovely boys. I love them to death. And I so wish they liked wristwatches. I've got five Patek Philippe, and I've also got a JJ LeCoute. I wish they had a bit of interest in them. And you know, I I actually am very fortunate. I'm able to you know, look at that JJ Lacoot. I'm fortunate. I get to pick them up from school. I take them to school in the morning, and I pick them up from school. And I've tried to talk about. Ah, oh, hello, boys. I'm wearing my my JJ Lacoot today. I'm wearing my Patek. It's a six zero zero six. I just tell them about it, and they say we don't want to talk about watches, Dad. We don't want to. We don't. We, we don't want to talk about watches. We're always your conversations go into watches, and that really makes me sad. <clears throat> it makes me sad because I love my wristwatches, and I wish they expressed some interest so I could explain Patek Philippe and how to care for them and look after them. Because I'd love to leave them to those two boys there. I really would love to leave my watches to the younger two kids. Now, the first lot of kids, I gave those guys a Rolex each when they were in primary school, and they insisted I sell it. And uh, I got to tell you, man, unless you buy them back, you ain't getting nothing else from me watch-wise. You failed the test. You failed the test. So these other two, these younger two, the... the uh, you know, 13 and 14. I gotta be honest with you, man, they've expressed very little interest. I've tried to send articles. There's cool clips on Paddock. You know, Paul Brittany had a great video from GQ. I sent it to the the elder of those two there, and I he, he didn't couldn't be bothered watching it, didn't like it. I so badly would like to discuss, you know, the the Paddock Philly 215 movement compared to the 324 automatic or the 240 micro router, rotor, rotor, rotor. I'd love to discuss the watches with them, but they've, they've expressed absolutely no interest. He wants me to buy. Can you buy me a Roadbox gift card? What the fuck is a Roadbox gift card? Man, I, I don't understand this. So... You know, I you know, you see the fucking Patek Philippe commercial. Patek Philippe, let's go to one just now. Do you mind if I stay for a while? All snuggle up in each other's arm. Do you mind if I stay by your just looking at you at the time that goes by Do you mind if I stay by your side? Just looking at you at the time that goes by You see the Paddock Philippe commercial and the, the family looks so perfect and it's, you know, <clears throat> the kids were so receptive and cool, but in, in real life, they're, they're not like that. They don't want to talk about Calatravas or Nautiluses or Aquanauts or annual calendars or world times. I mean, I've tried to explain them 
to them, look, this is a gold, yellow gold, white gold. I talk about the movements, the buckles, you know, just talk. They, please, can we not talk about watches? That's what they say. <clears throat> and it makes me sad. It really does make me sad because I kind of, um, I, I would love to talk about the wristwatches with them. I want to talk wrist, wrist, wristwatch, wristwatch. Come on, let's do a wristwatch check, Dad. No, they're not interested. I'd like to talk about, you know, I want to explain where the box and papers are. When I cark it, I want to explain where the safe, where in the bank safe I've got the, the papers, how to match it up, the different model numbers, the ref. They're not even interested in talking to me. So I, I find that really sad, you know. The kids are not like the kids in the paddock commercial. That's kind of perfect family. You know, I've tried my best. I love these boys, but I wish they were into the hobby. Uh, they just don't seem to be interested. I don't know what I can say. I mean, do I just walk away a bit, leave them, give them some room to grow into it? I don't know. They've got no... I'm the pontiff! I'd like to train one of them up to become... The take over this channel, you know, take over the YouTube channel. Teach him how to e-bag, how to get, you know, coin in and, uh, you know, teach him what a good punter and a bad punter and teach him about, you know, super chats and all this sort of shit. But they're not interested. They're not interested. I'd like to explain Paddock and Rolex and I've got all the books. Come on, learn, man. <clears throat> I'd love to get him into the hobby. But they're not interested. They just, they want to play Roblox. Get me a Roblox gift card. What the fuck is a Roblox gift card? I have no idea. You know, I got him a, a cell phone. I got him a, a mobile, mobile. I gave him my iPhone. He loves that. I hate Apple. You know that? I hate Apple. I've always hated, you know, so cool and trendy. Paddock Philippe, that's what it is. It's a grand classic from Paddock Philippe. Doesn't he realize having a paddock in your life will make you achieve more? You'll get better results. You'll get the more attractive, busty women. You will get the, um, the gorgeous, you know, you'll have a better life. Everything will be smoother if you've got a Calatrava. You know, I'm trying to explain this to the boys. And they, they're they not really interested. I hope, I just back and back, I'm just stepping back a bit and see if I can bring them into the fold, man. I want to bring them into the fold. Um, that's what I'd like to do is bring them back, bring them back into the fold. How do I explain? I want them to know about Calatravas and Rolex and they're just not interested. They're just, I mean, one of my sons loves the youngest. He loves the steam toys. He loves the... St okay, thank God he's into the steam toys. Um, <clears throat> the other one, the, the older of those two, he's not interested in the steam toys. Uh, I'd love him to be in the watches. Let's talk horology. We can discuss hort horology. I tried to get him a paddock. He didn't even want it. You know, these are... Sad events. I wish, I wish, wish, wish. You know, I don't know. Don't wish too hard. It might come true. I'm just going to give them some space. Uh, I, 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 I kind of, I kind of wish they were into this sort of stuff. I do, I do. I'd love them to be into wrist watches. We could talk about Padex fifty one ninety six compared to the five one two seven. We could talk all this stuff and Gillishay and. And um, we could talk about enameling with so many things. We could talk about with the watches, the wrist watches, get the hobby. But they're not interested. If they're not interested, you can't force them into it. You know, it's sort of, I don't know. It's sad. I wish they loved the wrist watches. I love my paddocks. It's the meaning of life. Paddock, paddock, paddock. It's one of the two Ps that's important. Paddock, paddock, paddock. And I love them. I really love my Patek Philippe. I love my Grand Classic from Patek Philippe. I love them. I love them. I love them. I wish the kids were interested. You know, they, they got no interest in my Patek Philippe's. <clears throat> no interest. 
The only interest they know is which ones they can sell to buy a Ferrari with. You know, I don't want them to buy a fucking Mercedes C-Class or a BMW later on. And man, they're not uh, BMWs and Mercedes. They don't hold their value like a Patek Philippe. Patek Philippe. I mean, it's it's so important. Patek. No, when I was a kid, no one fucking gave me nothing. I'm trying to get them interested in the hobby. I had to learn it myself. So I got to be honest with you. It's 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 difficult. I wish they loved wristwatches, you know, but they don't. I don't know how to get them interested. I tried to send them articles on it and this and that, show them how great it can be, but no interest, no interest. So... Yeah, that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. No interest in luxury goods. Uh, no interest whatsoever. Maybe it's because they got a good upbringing. They don't feel socially inept and they don't feel that they need a crutch like a, a expensive overpriced luxury good to make themselves. I, maybe they we're doing a good job. I don't know, but it's it's sad. It really is sad. And uh, I've got to be honest with you there. Ah, look, we'll just leave it. I don't want to push too much. I probably pushed too much already. I'm just going to back off, back off the truck, take my foot off the accelerator, and we'll see how it turns. I will see how it turns. So, yeah, yeah, it's sad. It's sad. I know it's sad. I love my wristwatches. But that's not the way it goes there. Um, so, yeah, that's. Uh, I, I wish that was uh, kind of the way to go there. So, guys, yes, this is how it is. The kids, sometimes they just don't like our hobbies. You know, it's a bummer. It's a bummer. It's a real bummer. I wish they liked these wristwatches i love my wristwatches my paddock it's a grand classic from paddock i mean these are lifetime achievement awards in my opinion i gotta tell you in my opinion i think one paddock is like a bachelor's degree they're lifetime achievement awards that's what they are i got five paddocks five five bachelors that's what it's like man it's the same pain and suffering for each paddock they're mega expensive and i'd love for one of my sons to be into the hobby but he's they're not it's only the older two but I, they need to get a job i think they just like them because they're expensive and they could hock them you know that's the sad thing it life is so unfair <laughs> So, yeah, yeah. So I, I wish they loved my watches. I wish they loved that, but <clears throat> that's the way it is. You just, you can't wish too hard. It might come true. So oh, just I'm just going to ease off a bit. It's my hobby. Um, if they're not really interested, I'll probably reduce the collection um, after I'm 60. I'll probably consolidate it more. If they were interested, I'd buy more. Yeah, that's what I'd, I'd, I'd really see myself doing. So, um, <clears throat> guys, that is how it goes. So, like, subscribe, tell your friends. This is a video for Brian. Thank you, Brian. I'm going to make another one for you, Brian. So, hang on and let's let's get the, um, the next video going. Thank you. And to my kids, please panic! Panic, panic, panic! Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. And there we go, one of the, the most beautiful <clears throat> Pateks of modern times. A key reference point in Patek history. The 5035, proudly part of the Archie Luxury Wristwatch Collection.
Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan DeVille. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was, but most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author, Let Dogs Be Dogs, available at bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination.